so i was, was going to sell my clothes today um to get money back to buy more clothes for my puerto rico trip um but my sister says it was very busy and i'm closing stores so i don't want to do that to myself so that has to wait until tomorrow unfortunately i did want to buy the stuff today just to get out of the way um we are planning our trip to puerto rico in two weeks i believe um we were there we were gonna go just for a wedding but it was around my birthday so my mom was just like let's just do two weeks and celebrate birthday right there it's winter time right now so this outfit don't worry about me then this outfit is definitely not appropriate for the weather but i'm in that vacation mood right now it's coming close to the time where we're leaving so i'm just in that mood i got the fleece line leggings so i'll be fine on my legs but up here i'm gonna be freezing but let's not talk about that um i can just put a little jacket on Fortunately, at work, I do have to take off the jacket, um, so I'm gonna be freezing because the heater is not working for some reason. But it's fine. I'm in my vacation mood, and I wanted to wear this. Um, I I don't know if I should do it like that or just leave it out. Anyways, I stole this from my sister, so she was like, "That's not my style. Why would I buy that?" And I was like, "Well, that's my style, so give it to me." Um, but yeah, I gotta go to work right now. My coworker bought me these, so it's kind of just a position, like winter boots with like a summer outfit but i kind of like it it kind of eats let me see if i like it on Ooh, my bed is not made please don't not my bed do i like it do i like the weirdness of like having winter boots on with the summer dress do i like this is this is this an outfit or am i just being delusional you know I'm gonna be delusional today because I'm gonna keep it because I'm already late. Um, but yeah, I want to trim my hair and dye it black because you can see there's some brown coming out of it, which I don't want that. Um, I was gonna put butterfly clips in my hair, but again I'm late, so this is this is this is the messy look, and I have to bring my dog to my mom so because she dog sits so. Let's let's do that. Let's do it right now. Anyways, this is what I was going to sell and then those shoes right there and those boots but unfortunately um, my sister said it was too busy so i'm not going to do that to myself i am closing store so i would i would be i would be ruining the night for myself so i'm not going to do that i'm going to wait until tomorrow and see if it's less busy tomorrow i'm back work was horrible as you can see by my hair um so yeah i had my friend wants to call me and I hate talking on the phone, so I have to primer, prepare myself. I hate, hate, hate phone calls. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm back from work. Um, I said I was going to be freezing. Honestly, it was chill. I was not freezing at all. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to show you what I'm selling, but also... My mom neatly packed it. Yes, my mom did it for me because I, I couldn't fit everything. And she was like, I'll do it for you. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot to take out. I don't want to undo her work. Um, but yeah, today sucked. I love closing. Um, but sometimes my feet just hurt too much. And I'm just like, oh, why did I switch to closers? I've been closer, a closer. I, I have been a closer in all my jobs. This is the only job that I've started as a closer then switched to opener and then back to closer um so yeah i don't regret it i hate i hate morning shifts but these are the nights that i'm just like oh my feet are killing me but anyways yeah all right so my sister said that the store is not as busy as yesterday so i can come in um sell my clothes and i did find a dress that i'm gonna throw into the bins bins bags just because i love this um dress it's just a little too short for me i'm not comfortable with it um and it rises up as i walk so it makes it even shorter and i'm not about that so fortunately i do have to sell that one i'm not sure if they're gonna accept it um i kind of just throw everything in they're 100% not gonna take every single thing just because I know how we work. But 
um hopefully they take a chunk of it and they're not gonna give me much for it but again i just want to get rid of this and out of the closet anything that they don't take i'll just donate it that's what i usually do um when i sell so yeah that is sad that that dress didn't work out for me it was 60 bucks guys so i'm definitely not getting 60 bucks back but um but yeah that dress was just too short for me and just a little uncomfortable while walking because it rides up so but yeah i'm gonna go um sell those and then i actually have to work as well so again i'm closing um which i've said it before i love closing i love my closing shifts um any job that i work i would like to book the, the night shift but yeah so let's see how much they'll get me for this i'll talk to you guys after my shift so i'm it's like midnight right now but i just do not want to record today so i'm gonna record before i go to sleep um so i got everything not everything back um they did buy a lot of the stuff i got like 25 dollars um like the offer was 25 dollars i usually get around 10 to 20 anyways so 25 dollars was um okay so this will just have to go to salvation army or just like donation bin somewhere most of the stuff that they passed on was just um jeans my pants which i okay with because they're pretty faded and old so i knew they were gonna pass on them um because they have like this policy of having like new clothes and stuff like that because they're not a thrift store they're like they're like a consignment store so they want they're paying they're paying customers for their items so they want the newest stuff so they know that it will sell and they get profit also this one didn't get also but that's fine because i'm just gonna list it on depop they were about to offer me like three dollars for it i don't know if it's authentic i got it gifted like three years ago and usually i don't sell or give away gifted items i like i want to share them because like oh you thought of me so you gifted this to me unless they break of course then there's no use for it but this one is just like i said it was gifted to me three years ago and i only wore it once so it's always in my closet just getting pet hair and getting basically dust um but i'm not sure if it's real gucci um because i'm not gonna ask the person like if you think about me enough to gift me something i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be that person that's like oh is that real no i don't care i'm accepting it um but yeah i'm gonna put it on depop i'm gonna search it up and see if it's real put it on depop for more money than three dollars everything else is kind of like okay i guess i don't know why they pass on some of these maybe just due to wear um or age because these i've had my closet i haven't revamped my closet in years guys so these could be like three four years old which they would pass on um but it's all right this one was crazy because i actually bought this from them and wore it once and then they didn't want it back so um i don't know if i should keep this oh maybe because of the peeling oh i didn't know it was peeling Dang, I only wore it once and it started peeling. It's just that it's so short on me. I don't know if I should keep this. Um, I'm gonna keep it there. I really don't know if I should keep that. These I'm gonna keep and put back in my closet. Um, it's just some leggings. These are very worn, so I know why they did it. This one, maybe because um, older styles. We have to take into account that these this is a children's store so they go up to size youth 20 so a lot of the clothes that i get back that they don't want is because they're like women's clothing or like older um like bigger sizes that they don't take oh but these this is technically this is a size 11 13 so this will fit in their sizing 
so i'm not sure maybe it's because it's like under an undershirt they usually don't take those um everything else i don't want so i'm just gonna donate these i'm also very i'm gonna put these on depop as well so these are gonna go on depop it's a little like two-piece set um so i'm gonna put this on depop just because i feel like someone's gonna really really like that and i'm gonna put it on depop with with this so i'm gonna pair these three and just um sew them together this one no i'm gonna donate this one it's just so tight on my body and i'm not comfortable with it so i'm gonna um so yeah this one i'm gonna sew on depop as well i'm gonna throw the picture um take the pictures tomorrow i'm not gonna do that right now because again like i said it's midnight we're supposed to wake up at nine in the morning um to go to the base so i'm not doing that right now these jeans just don't fit me they're either too tight on me or it's just i don't like dark wash jeans anymore i want the light wash jeans so those are just gonna get donated um they did take a couple jeans a couple pants but like i said i kind of knew that they were gonna take much um but i like to throw i like to throw everything in just in case anyways um so yeah i'm gonna ask my mom about this i you guys i'm very like i ask my mom about everything like she's the one that tells me stuff so i'm gonna put this on and ask her if it's too short I don't know it it feels like too short for me for my comfort liver but maybe if i style it like maybe a layering piece it will work i just don't want that to go to uh, i don't know i don't want to say waste because donating is actually like it's good that you should donate but if i can wear it then i rather just keep it for myself and layer it up and i'm gonna keep this one um just to sleep just because it has a boston on it and i am a mom to a boston so honestly i'm glad they didn't take this i don't know why i didn't take this pretty new i bought it like like this past year um there's a stain on it i did not notice that stain okay so i'm gonna keep this just to sleep in it's gonna peel off by you know it's gonna peel off eventually but i'm just gonna keep that just to sleep with because i absolutely love the boston on it and with those 25 dollars, i did a trade and got me some stuff so first i got these shoes they're for 21 they're a size let me see let me see oh wait there's a tag on it <laughs> there's a size three my sizing for shoes are crazy i have size four shoes up to size seven shoes so um i did try these on and they do work Fortunately, there is a little scuff on there, but I'm going to ask my sister uh, if she can take them out. She's a sneakerhead, so she knows like what stains can come out and what can't. So I'm going to ask her if she can take that off. If not, then I'm just going to have to deal with it because I bought it and I really want them. I don't want to take them back. And they were $6.50, so that's... I For $6, look how cute they are. And then we have this little girl's dress that i'm gonna try to see if it fits as like a top like this um with some a long sleeve white shirt and then my little long white skirt i'm gonna see if it fits over my bust um but if it does look how cute it is look look how adorable um i won't try on right now but i will oh maybe yeah i'll try it on later i know that this video is going to be long so i'm not going to edit it anytime soon so at some point i will make a little outfit for it and show you how i would style it then we have this cute little old navy size 10 guys with clothing i'm also so all over the place i have size 8 up to size 16 that fit me but look how cute it is. It is a like a mauve color. I don't know if you can tell in the video. But it's just a cute little sweater. Um, 
and I absolutely love it. I was kind of pressured into buying this, not really, but all my coworkers were like, oh, get it, get it, get it. It fits you. It's your style, get it, get it. And I was like, easily influenced, so I did. And this was 450 actually. The dress was 350 guys. And the dress is actually Joey. So yeah super super cheap super affordable and then we got this garage sweater size 16 i haven't tried this on so i don't know if it fits but i'll try it on in a later time um and this was 350 guys look how cute it is this was actually put aside for me by a coworker and my sister they saw this and was like that's totally the laundra and they put it aside to me and i was like that's so sweet i love when people put aside clothes to me for me because they know like they're it's my style like this is like i want to say the third time a co-worker has put something aside to me for me and i bought i buy it like every time they put something aside for me i'm like you know my style and i just find it so sweet that they do know my style and they like think about me and they're like let me just save this for alondra because i know she would love it i absolutely love that but yeah that's my haul i did leave um a leather jacket and a leather skirt that i didn't want to buy today with that money because i had to go buy cookies for my dogs <laughs> um but i get paid tomorrow so i'm gonna go back over there um depending because i want to thrift tomorrow as well you can hear my dog right now i want to go thrifting tomorrow so depending on what i get thrifting um i either will buy it or not buy the leather jacket and skirt but we'll see that we'll see about that tomorrow all right so mother has spoken she said that i can just take this little thing to puerto rico just to sleep in um and i was like you're totally right because i don't have I don't have PJs for warm weather or like hot weather because Puerto Rico is hot. So the pink Puerto Rico dress, um, she said that I can just wear and layer up. So I'm going to keep that one as well. And then everything else will be donated. And then the Gucci jacket will be on Depop. Well, I'm glad I'm getting news of this little tank top that I was going to throw away. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't fit closed but it, i mean if it's cute like that for three dollars i think i'm gonna keep it usually i don't dress up this tight but because i'm planning to go to a thrift store i want to be able to like put clothes on without having like if they don't have like a dressing room or something like that so usually this is not my style but it is what it is today i ended up getting this little jacket for ten dollars obviously it's fake but you know because i want a little a, a little bit of edge when i go to Rico, right it's cute oh, wait i didn't actually see if it fit me closed let's look in oh okay oh my god motorcycle <laughs> biker it's cute i like it i want to take at least some black clothes for a all my clothes i'm taking are like very white pastel -y type clothes is this broken oh my gosh i almost cried and then this is also ten dollars that was art class size 14 this is size 18 and it doesn't have a brand like i said guys i'll be shopping in the kids section oh. oh my gosh this is actually so cute oh that's tight i can't I was gonna say, please tell me it does fit. Where's the front? Is this the front? Oh, it's a side, a side zipper. Wait, this is so cute. Oh, you can't even see. 
well it's like knee length oh my gosh i I've, I've been wanting a black plain black skirt for the longest time i don't have one i have a black skirt well i have a plain black skirt but it has like these weird pleats these are cuter um and it's shorter than the one i have so oh my gosh and i know for 10 bucks it might seem a lot of money actually 10 bucks is a lot of money for that store for just a skirt without a brand but i don't know oh my gosh no i'm gonna struggle getting this out oh there's some clips too well that's my update <laughs> bye y'all All right, I came back from Nordstrom Rack, Nordstrom Rack, and I dropped three hundred dollars, guys. Ugh. I'm so glad that we're gonna get paid the day of this trip. Like as we're arriving in Puerto Rico, I'm getting paid, so I'm so glad. And I still had to buy the hair dye to dye all this brown black. So, and I still have to buy my mom's clothing. I bought her some shoes, but she didn't see any clothing clothing so i have to buy her that too so first i bought a lot of undergarments like nude undergarments just um i don't know if the dress is see-through but just in case i don't have to worry about that so those were like 15 dollars a pop a pop i would never say that why did i say that it's 15 dollars a piece um so that was a lot but then i got the dress which was 40 dollars and then the shoes was 80 because they're Doc Martens, but they're so cute. And then my mom's shoes were like 40 or something like that. So it was a lot. And then the corset was $30 from Hot Topic. So it's a lot. By the way, this is not a color that I would initially pick up. It's like creamy beige, but that is the, the lighting was so weird right there. That is the like dress code is beige and then boys are like khaki so that's it um this is the dress the shapewear is like so tight which i guess it's doing its job um but let me put on the corset so you guys can see it's like knee length it's kind of, it's, it's okay but let's see i never did a corset before so i have no idea how it works I guess does that is that upside down <sighs> let me have them all alright so that just made me mad it doesn't fit it's too large so I might have to get one from but look how cute it is and there was no smaller size and it also broke That made me so mad because if it's tight, do you see the vision? Wait, if it was tighter, right? Oh, look at the stars. They're so cute, but it literally broke and there was not a smaller size. So I don't even know where that broke from. Oh, it broke from here. This just made me mad, dude. I have to find one on Amazon. It was so cute. Look at it. <sighs> Anyways, that's gonna bother me until I return it. So, <laughs> these are the shoes that I got myself. They're Doc Martin. This is why the corset was black. It's because this is black and this is beige. So, I wanted, I didn't want this to be like you know so the black corset would you know help balance that out here's the other one it's so cute um and they're doc martin so they were 80 bucks um which is not bad actually doc martins are like 100 plus so and then i got these from my mom like i said very cute very simple so yeah and then i don't know if i should do a necklace maybe and then my hair i'm just gonna ask my cousin to do something <laughs> so 
So I didn't originally plan to make it this short, but all that was split ends, dead ends, burnt hair, stiff hair. So I told my mom, you know what? Just do it. It'll grow back. I actually do want my hair to be long, not short, but it wouldn't, it's not gonna grow if it has all of that dead hair. So I told her to chop it off. Um, I also wanted to dye my hair a blacker black, if that makes sense. But she said it's already black, but she doesn't understand that I want it black or black, you know? But whatever. Oh, I'm hungry. If only this was a skirt and not pants. So cute. What? The wind is crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, you do this every time I record. You do know that, right? <laughs> Dying in every video. Oh my god! I stopped recording, but she farted immediately. <laughs> I hope you guys can tell the difference how much darker it is. I hope you guys can see it, but I love it. That is new cute cute little clips. Look how cute! My first Hello. time getting tailored. Oh my god, we're stuck. Oh. oh my god, don't scare me like that! She has gotten tailored before, I have not. So, and we're going to our co worker's like, workplace, so that's awkward, but also fun. Okay, we're obviously taking my little slippers, um, we're taking these boots, Doc Martin boots. And of course, the Doc Martin boots that we're gonna take over there. And then the wedding dress, so cute, with the belt. Yes, sir. Then this is like a loungewear dress that I stole from my sister. And then this cami and this skirt that I love so much. I love the skirt. And this cami, I never use it just plain like this. I always wear something under. Um, this little uh, coquette outfit that I got in my bundle. Um, and then an undershirt because you always need one of these. This shirt, I was so mad. It's a dress, but I wanted to wear it as a shirt, but it just didn't go over my chest. So sad. Um, this little cardigan, just in case the night is a little chilly. Very cute. Um, these Timo pants that I absolutely love. They're my favorite pants. Um, just in case I get tired of the skirts, you know what I mean? And then the two-piece um, leather jacket combo thing that you saw before. Also, I forgot to tell you, but the uh, green two-piece I did take for a PJs. This little pink top, very cute. And then like the white version of that, um, also very cute. This cardigan, I always use it as a cardigan, not alone. Um, and then I did some accessories. I forgot to mention that I will be taking my little ponyo necklace so yeah i'm gonna take that i definitely i might have overpacked might have overpacked but um i'm gonna just take a smaller bag i guess to put my hair products in um deodorant toothbrush and all that jazz um but yeah i'm gonna be buying some white shoes to go with my outfits over there because my white shoes are all dirty or either like snow boots or like just very very dirty that i don't want to take them and i will i'm also going to buy um a swimsuit over there 
um, if I do get to the beach. I don't know how I feel about that. But if I do get to the beach, I'm bleeding. I think my nose is bleeding. <gasps> Anyways, um, but yeah, that's gonna be over there. Um, so even if I don't pack a lot into my bag that I'm taking, I'm gonna take it like a carry-on. Um, I still want to take it just in case I do come back with no clothes because I will be coming back with no clothes. So yeah, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So those are the clothes that I was, I'm was i gonna bring to Rico. Yes, and then the next vlog, or the next video will be a vlog of my time over there. So yay, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I feel like this video is very long and you only saw like what the title says like the last 15 minutes of this video i my nose is bleeding so sorry about that um but yeah i love like vlog style videos so i just had to do it like that i couldn't just sit down and talk about all the clothes that i wanted to take um i just had to make a vlog out of it so sorry but anyways thank you for watching god bless you all and i'll see you in the next one bye bye